guys what's up i actually just filmed a video but we're gonna ignore that we're gonna talk about all the books i read as an english major just this semester so if you guys want to see all across the board like what i've read throughout college let me know and i can do that this video is just going to be talking about the books i've read specifically this semester as a first semester junior well, the first book i have read is the captivity of the oatman girls among the apache and mojave indians this book is a non-fiction book but really it's a man taking advantage of a young girl's story and fictionalizing it to get a profit um i don't know if you want to hear about the actual story you should just look up the girl with the blue tattoo and read about her from a different perspective as stratton um, but yeah, this is the first book. This book I have is actually a collection of poetry and this is by Emily Dickinson. We tend to read a lot of poetry so I don't have like all of the books that I've ever read or all the poetry I've ever read, but this is a physical book that I got this year because I was heavily studying Dickinson. I actually wrote a final paper on her. I actually read my first thing by Poe. I had never read any of his short stories or poetry. And yeah, so Edgar Allan Poe's The Narrative of Arthur Gordon Pym of Nantucket. This is actually his only existing completed novel. And a lot of people think he wrote it just for a cash grab because this book is insane. It, I think I rated it one and a half stars on Goodreads because it's just pure nonsense and he adds like all these different elements to make it or try to make it something spectacular and it just isn't. <laughs> Instead it's just chaos and so interesting and yeah if you were starting to read Poe would not recommend this to, to start with. This book I read was Clotel by William Wells Brown. This is kind of a remix on the slave narrative and it also takes the fact that Thomas Jefferson had children with his one of his slaves and kind of turns it into his story and so it's very interesting and yeah i don't even know what else to say about it i i really enjoyed it you get varying perspectives and it's a very interesting read this is actually one of my favorites this is a collection of charlotte perkins gilman's books but i actually read the yellow wallpaper i've read this throughout multiple semesters at um, the University of Kansas, but I just love this edition right here, the yellow wallpaper. If you're an English ma major, you will definitely read it at some point because it's just, it's a staple for short stories for women going mad, things like that. Um, but yeah, it's one of my favorites. I think it would definitely be my favorite short story to date, um, would recommend. What we have is Walden by Henry David Thoreau. Um, Thoreau was a very famous American author and yeah, this is kind of like a guidebook on how he lived in solitude for two years, I believe. And it's very, I personally found it very beautiful, the imagery, his life lessons, but he's also a very no nonsense man. And it's like his way or the highway, which can get into troublesome, you know, but overall I did enjoy this and you'll definitely read something by throw at some point in your journey as an English major. I read The Coquette, which I'm pretty sure this was the first published book in the United States, um, the established United States or the second, I can't remember. There was something very cool about this, especially because it's written by a woman and it's basically following this woman that goes out of the traditional standard norms of American society, like what a woman should look like. I find that so interesting and it's written in letters, which makes it also very fun because you get all these varying perspectives. And it's based off of a true, like an actual real life woman, which whenever something's based off of a real story, it, it always speaks my interest because then I get to go dive into that real person, a real event and see how things differ. And yeah, that's it. And the last book, this video is gonna be so short, um, but that is another collection of poetry and that is Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass. Whitman is another very famous American poet. He was the first poet to do long form poetry um, and kind of like freestyling where he's just, like it's just a mess of his thoughts. Whatever he's thinking, he writes it down. And it's very honest. And um, I'm pretty sure he's also the first known gay poet. I'm pretty sure, I don't wanna say that for sure. But yeah, his poetry is very interesting. It's it's a lot. He tells you everything. Like there's no room for interpretation because he will tell you straight up what's happening, which can be nice, but also it depends how long you like your poetry because this is very, very long. That is going to be literally one of my shortest videos ever, but these are the books that I've read this semester as an English major. If you want to see like a part two to this video next semester, I would love to do that. These books are just mainly for one class and then the yellow wallpaper was for another class. And that's because honestly, a lot of the things that 
we read are short articles or short essays and they're usually more current so depending on the class you take it will change your course load but this is what it looked like for me this semester and I did actually end up enjoying a lot of it um, one of my favorite things about taking English classes is that you get to read literature that you probably wouldn't have picked up without the class. Let me know what you guys read this semester if you were an English major or in an English class. I'm this side, so I'm sorry for this angle and this stuff. I'm gonna end this video now, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace and love, bye guys.